these days of technology, have we invested in technology that would allow women in a period of maternity to work from home? Now these, these are the questions, these are the questions that the ESG desk should be asking. Okay? We can make money, but we can make money in a socially responsible and sustainable way. But, but the vision is for a modern banking industry that is a benchmark. We're not going to wait for 2020 to start doing these things. We need to start doing these things now. Um, something that has been missing in the banking industry is consumer protection. I take cashless Lagos. We've done the investments in POSs. Um, we're working with the, with, the, with, the teleco with the telcos. We have the cards. We have made significant progress. Yes, there are challenges of power. There are challenges of bandwidth. There are operational issues, which we keep fixing. But there are also other challenges. You are living in an environment where there is no trust. People don't trust machines. But the reason they don't trust machines is that if there is a problem with the machine, there is no human being that will fix their problem. If you go to a bank teller and he gives you cash and you count and it's short by one, you count again, he gives it to you. If you go to an ATM machine and it is short, what do you do? The banks have not set up, they have not set up machinery where the small customer, yes, a big customer, the MD of Shell will pick up the phone and say, BC, um, this is what I'm, and that is it. But where will your small customer in Abe Okuta branch go? if he has a problem, and be sure that his concerns will be addressed. We cannot go back to the banking industry pre-2008, which makes money from short-term profit taking, sometimes from fraud, sometimes from manipulate, manipulating numbers and declaring profits that they're not making. You don't have to declare false profits. You can make real profits, good profits, and while you're making those profits, be useful to society.